So it's beer kit review time once again. Um, I have to say, I have an awful lot of time to do all grain brewing at the moment. My grain's getting a bit stale, maybe a little bit too past its best, so I'm going to leave it for the moment and concentrate on a few kits. I've got one review coming up soon from a Munson's Connoisseur range, a nut brown ale. But I've picked up a couple from the Malt Miller. Had a very good price on, I forget now, I think it's around the £20 mark, these Mangrove Jacks kits. Now, I've had experience with these before doing the cider kit, which I thought was fantastic. Um, I've I hadn't really done a cider kit before, but for me the cider was fantastic. It was really a really good kit. Um, these packets are a similar style in that you get a packet, and I'll, I'll focus in in a minute, that it's split. One side is the malt and the other side is your instructions, your yeast, and any extra hops that you might need to add. Uh, but the malt mill is currently running promotion. I think it might still be running where you get a malt extract to add to it. So they recommend on the back of the packet you add uh, like brew enhancer or an extra packet of liquid malt extract. So at the moment this comes free in the price with the uh, the malt miller. Um, I've got a pink grapefruit IPA here which is going to come out at 5.7% they say. It's got Simcoe and Cascade 25 grams of each and comes with an M44 Mangrove Jacks West Coast yeast. Um, I'll focus in on the packet just to show you the split. It works quite well. Um, there's really not an awful lot to show in terms of brewing footage. I may do a little bit of filming of it. It's purely just adding what's in your packet, what's in the liquid malt extract or brew enhancer with some hot water, making sure it's all thoroughly dissolved and then topping up to the 23 litre mark. Um, obviously the, the hops will get added. I don't know if they're like adding now or a dry hop, we'll see that in a minute. Um, and your yeast, and that is it. These kits are really made up in next to no time. I've already got a sterilised fermenter just here. Other than that, there's there's not a whole heap more to it. Um, yeah, and what better way to, to ramp up the stocks? Um, I'm quite a big fan of the uh, the Elvis juice from Brewdog, so I'm wondering if that's going to go along the same vein as that. We'll see. Yeah, so and then I'll cut to a little bit of footage now, showing you what you can see inside. there's like a divide. So one side you've got your malt, and the other side we've got. So we've got our first packet of hops. Oh, I think they're all combined because that's 50 grams. So it's a combined hop packet there. Our instructions and our M44 yeast, and then you've got. So you can see where the dry side is, and then if I peel that back a little bit. That's where all the, the malt extract is. So pretty simple, just two bits to add, and then the yeast. I'm guessing this is a dry hop, let's have a look. Yeah, it'll be dry hopping. Cool. All right. Okay, as you can see, I've added the first pack of the malt extract, which is the extra pack that we got, which is just plain malt extract. And what I like to do is then fill the packet up. It does stand itself upright once it's full of uh, hot liquid. You might want to wear gloves. And then uh, get a whisk and kind of scrape all around the edge, get all that off. And as you can see, it leaves it fairly clean. Maybe a little bit more hot water now, get the last bit out. I have to say the next packet, the uh, the pink grapefruit part obviously has already been kind of hopped and the dry hops in additional and it smells fantastic even as soon as you open it you can smell it it is it's cracking I can't wait for this so as you can see we've added both more extract packets now and I can't stress this enough because I've done it myself before and it's an easy mistake to make although you wouldn't think so is in that follow the instructions use the three liters of hot water and add the malt extract maybe a little bit more once you've emptied the packets out mine's closer to five um, and make sure you've whisked it and it's thoroughly dissolved because I've got to this point where sometimes you kind of you add it you add the cold water and the cold water is up to here 23 litres and then you've got this thick mass of malt extract at the bottom and unless you've got a big spoon which can then start scraping the side of the fermenter up you're not going to be able to dissolve that and if that doesn't dissolve properly within the water it might not ferment out correctly you'll have a lower ABV beer and it just won't be as good as it should have been so get that thoroughly dissolved until you, your whisk is just passing through it and you know eventually that's once you fill up the cold water again get your whisk and that's going to help aerate it and give the yeast something to start with but make sure it's fully dissolved I, I can't stress that enough because I've, I've done it on many occasions and tried to rectify it and it does work to an extent but when you've only got a small amount of liquid in there it's much easier to get all that liquid extract dissolved when you haven't 
it's a lot harder. Okay, as you can see we're up to the 23 litre. Pouring the water in from a height will also give you better aeration and you don't really need to use the whisk. Gonna just pour on the yeast and then on the lid. And that is it, done. How many time to review the pink grapefruit IPA from Mangrove Jacks. And I've done a little side by side. I've got a normal version that I've just bottled straight up as the kit is brewed. Um, and I've got another version where I've added the grapefruit extract from Malt Miller, which comes in a little 30 ml pot, and I believe it's one mil per litre. And then we've got the Brewdog Elvis juice to compare it to, because that's what the, the kit takes its homage from. So we're crackle free. I was going to do a side by side, but I've kind of realised that the Brewdog's going to be totally clear and kind of filtered to some extent. Whereas the homebrew version has got a little bit of cloudiness to it, probably due to the dry hop and Brewdog have probably got some kind of fancy centrifuge where they kind of filter it all out and whatnot. I don't know. So it's kind of a pointless side by side because it would be easy to, to tell in to sight alone. So we'll crack the, the normal version. And I bottled the normal version in 500ml bottles purely because I weren't sure if the grapefruit extract was going to add a whole heap of grapefruit and it'd be too much in 500ml bottles so I decided to put those in 330s and I rarely have used 330s but so that's the the kind of standard kit if you like um, there is a little bit of haze it looks a lot darker on camera as it always does um, but it's a lot clearer and, and lighter this end um, to an extent heaps of grapefruit on the nose straight away but we'll put that to one side for a minute now this is the one with the grapefruit extract added there. Again, I would say almost the same in terms of on the nose um, for the two, the one that's even got the, um, the extract in it. And now the brew dog Elvis juice itself. Obviously a whole heap clearer. And a lot more punchy on the nose, almost like as if it's fresher. If, if that makes sense. And this homebrew is super fresh. It's only sort of like a week and a half in the bowl. But I'll get onto that in a minute. Right, so for the normal version. I have to say, I've drunk quite a bit of the normal version and the uh, the one that I've added the extract to. And it's probably one of the best kits. And I know kind of, I do a beer kit review and I always say, this is the best beer kit, but in terms of flavour and what they've tried to go for, it's it really hits the mark. I have to admit, it's such a refreshing beer, and I've give it out to a few people that have kind of I weren't sure if it would be to their liking, and they've really kind of been won over with it. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because so I, I think that for me personally, when I first tried Elvis Juice, it was a bit kind of a bit of a marmite beer. I weren't sure if I liked it at first, but now I kind of it's grown on me, and I, I really do enjoy it. But It's such a tasty beer, and I think the kit was just such an easy kit to brew. Um, I like the fact that you get everything with it. Obviously, um, I had the extra malt extract. It's your choice whether you had that or not, and it depends on the ABV you get out. Um, and that's the other noticeable difference, I guess, from the, the commercial version versus the Mangrove Jacks version. Um, brew Dogs one is six and a half. I think this comes out around five seven if you use the malt extract. So it's not too far off. But anyway. So now to the one that I added the more extract to, and what I did was save the last 15 litres from the batch, taking the dosage in consideration, and then kind of got the little syringe that you get from the malt miller and had it in the uh, the bottling bucket and kind of tried to suck up a little bit at a time and just disperse it through the um, the bottling bucket. And then at the end, I got a stainless steel um, spoon, sanitised it, and just give it a very gentle stir. Um, but I have to admit that when I first put the, the, like, the grapefruit extract in, and I believe it's like the same extract that Brewdog use, I guess they use it on much larger volumes, 
and you can buy a bigger volume on the Malt Miller website as well. This is kind of like a little 30 mil pot, about two or three pounds, I'm guessing. I can't remember what it was now. It's something like that. Um, the smell of it was just fantastic. It, it smelled like someone had a, a grapefruit just open in front of you, and you know when you've dug in with a fork or something, you can smell the kind of the zest and the juice. It smelled fantastic. Um, and adding it to the beer, it smelled fantastic. Um, and trying a, a sample at that time, it smelled and tasted great. But I almost felt that like now it's been in the bottle a little bit, it's almost a little bit subdued. I mean, I, I, I'm not disagreeing with the Malt Miller's kind of dosage rates, but I think you could probably get away with a lot more per litre, if I'm honest, for me in terms of the grapefruitiness. But the smell when it first went in was fantastic, but that doesn't seem to come across as much. And the only way I can compare it is if you open a bottle of Brewdog um, Elvis juice, as I just did there, the smell that gets you straight away is the smell of that grapefruit extract when you first get it, but that doesn't seem to retain in, in the version that I made here. And I don't know why that is, maybe it's a different type of grapefruit extract, and maybe they have more per litre, who knows. And maybe there might be some fruit, fresh um, grapefruit now. I haven't actually checked the, the Brewdog uh, recipe, and I know you can get them freely available, but anyway. So there is a little bit more on those, but I would say it's very comparable to just the standard brew one. But but definitely on the taste, even though I say it's subdued from when I bottled it, it's the clear winner over the kind of, the. don't get me wrong, the, the standard one that you brew as the kit is fantastic, but adding that extra bit of grapefruit extract has really kind of brought it to life. But we'll go for the, as you see the commercial version is clear as day, and the smell is just right on the nose. That's what the homebrew versions don't have is that kind of um, the aroma straight on the nose is the real grapefruit even before you've gone in for the taste you know what you're getting and again they're kind of I think it's very close but it's very hard to get close to a commercial version with a, a homebrew version even if it's from a kit and you know I guess it's not trying to it doesn't say that it's a brutal ever juice but it's took homage from that but what I would say I think in comparing the two is that the commercial version almost seems less bitter than the homebrew version not in a bad way by any means but I don't know the bittering that goes into this don't think it tells you No, I'll be interested to get the recipe actually and maybe post it down below in the links and I know you can get it available online but there's definitely more of a bit in this on this than there is the, the commercial version. And definitely the commercial version has got that kind of like real, real fresh grapefruit whereas it's there, it's more, I'd say it's more zesty if that if that's a way of kind of describing it, it definitely smells more, yeah like juicy, it's kind of, oh, yeah, I don't know, definitely, I think there's definitely a whole heap of great fresh track compared to the amount that I've added anyway, so by all means it's probably possible with if you wanted to find that out clear it down a bit more not that it really matters maybe add even more grapefruit extract it would come right up to, uh, to the same level i'm not bothered about clarity it's not a fuss for me but i mean i met originally when i tried elvis juice i originally thought that it was too um grapefruity and i don't know if there's any real difference from getting it in the can or the bottle i've had it in cans i've had it in the bottle but not at the same time so I can't really compare the two, but yeah, there's definitely a kind of a differentness there for sure. But there, it is good as a homebrew kit. I think that is fantastic, and, I, and I'm pleased, and I'm kind of glad that I got the the grapefruit extract. But it has made me wonder if I bought the kit again, if I added like two mil per liter and dosed in two of those little vials. I know you can get a bigger quantity on Walkmiller, but it's quite pricey. Unless you were doing a big brew, I guess it would be worthwhile. But I think maybe I'm going to look at the Brewdog version. I might get another one of these kits 
and maybe kind of use that as the base because the kit when you first open it and you'll see on the previous switch you can smell that the extract has already got um, grapefruit added to it or something because it, it smells you get that kind of hit of citrus and zinginess to it um, and probably the best smelling malt when you open a packet first of all from a kit that any kit I've ever had um, but yeah I would start with that as a base I might double up on the um, grapefruit extract and see what Brewdog do if they if they reveal that in their recipe if there's any kind of fresh grapefruit in there or maybe the the rind or the zest or anything like that in secondary and have a go again because uh, as I say when I first bought Elvis juice I weren't too sure if it was a a beer for me it's very kind of it's quite fruity quite juicy almost kind of not a beer but a beer but yeah I'm pleased I think the grapefruit extract worked but I think if you went with the kit alone you are still not going to be disappointed it only adds an extra few pounds so the choice is your and you haven't got to dose the whole lot um, or you could dose less and double up I think that might be the better option maybe next time I might do less double up on one and then kind of you know really ramp up maybe you know three drops per litre or you know however many mil it is I think it's one mil per litre so maybe I would do three mils for a litre and a two mil we know what one mil is like and go from there until we found the right kind of what's the name so now I've got three beers to drink for dinner which uh, is achievable I think but yeah so the brew dog Elvis juice if you like that I would get the Mangrove Jacks pink grapefruit IPA top beer you get a decent yeast you get hops everything you need in the kit just a bit of time a bit of water and a bit of patience that's it